Thanks. Glad. Yes. Yeah. So wait, first of all, are you friends with South American? We're friendly, yeah. Friendly, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're, he's not going to like go after you or something with a joke? Oh, I don't know. He, I mean, I don't think being friends with, with, it, with him make, yeah, gets, gives anyone a free pass. I should hope not. So how many have you been Spirit Awards? Yeah. I don't know, four or five? Right. Yeah. yeah. And I, I presented, actually I'm presenting the Nick Cassavetes Award today, and I presented it two years ago as well. So, it's, it's becoming my thing, I guess. That's yeah. And um, obviously, Jeff, what's coming out, what, three weeks? Yeah, three weeks, I think. Um, which is a very interesting bit, so, you know, filmmakers come from the independent world with the studio backing. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's, uh... It is a curious sort of area because it's a Paramount movie, but it's it's a medium-sized movie. Um, and obviously, uh, Jason and I have each done sort of huge studio movies, uh, and it's, so the two of us in a, in a movie together, I think it's going to sort of up in expectations a little bit, but in a really cool way. Yeah, you're sort of He's a it's a dark character. He's less mean and more just kind of desperate in my mind. And I, and I think he's I think he's just somebody who's maybe not a bad guy, but really gets in his own way a lot. And I I don't know, I tend to play a lot of those guys. I really, really like that. Was it fun for you to be less of the cheery, happy guy this time around? For sure. Yeah, it's just a nice change of pace. And, and I, what I loved about doing that movie was that it was about... I don't know. It's just, it was like it was really about act, act, trying to act real, like act really, not not try to find jokes and stuff, but to really just find a vibe with Jason that where we were like really brothers and really had a lot of baggage and and we were we had friction, but we loved each other. And it was just this it was a complicated, challenging, really fun, fun project, and. Uh, it's good. It's a great movie. I'm really psyched yeah. about it. So being on, you know, you've been on The Hangover, which has a huge budget, and then something like Jazz and something like Cedar Rapids. What do you think the biggest differences are, other than, you know, like, the craft services, too? Um, I don't know. It's, uh, I guess, I guess they're more... Really, the, the experience of making the movie is not dramatically different. I mean, there's maybe, maybe you have nicer catering or something, but, but I think it's, it's kind of in, in the, the next stages of like promotion and all that stuff where you, where you see bigger differences. Obviously, The Hangover just gets like this massive international media blitz. And uh, so these, a lot of the movies here today, independent films, really struggle for that recognition and try to fight for it. Yeah, but it's it's uh it's it's born out of passion, and, you know, and that's what's so cool about about this genre. Thanks so much. Have a good time. Of course, today. always a pleasure.